All right, so I know in my recent Utopia video, I said it'd be the last, but um, I lied. And just last night, Carti premiered some unreleased tracks. So I thought in today's one, I'd make a beat in the style of Fiend on the Utopia album. All right, so Fiend, I think is like roughly 149, 148 BPM. So I'm gonna set to like 148 BPM here. I think to start off, I'm gonna try and make the first main synth melody on the track. Sounds like a pretty simple saw synth table. So I'm gonna go into my Analog Lab 5 and just see what I can find. I might edit the preset a little bit just to make it a bit drier. So now that I've got a slightly drier sound, I need to come up with some sort of chord progression. You're gonna have to give me a minute because I need to come up with a melody that isn't Fiend, but sounds like Fiend. Anyway. I believe in the track there's some sort of chord change, so I might do that as well. It's gonna be so difficult to make this beat not sound exactly like the reference, but I'll see what I can do. All right, sounds pretty similar, but not exactly the same. I think I'm gonna bounce out this intro synth melody. I'm gonna render it as an audio clip and add some effects and automation. One quick thing I'm gonna add to it, and I learned this trick from the remake god himself. If you haven't watched this video, I highly recommend it. It taught me quite a few things. So I'm going to automate the preamp on the distortion, and then I'm gonna increase the preamp slightly on every stab like this. It's a bit annoying to do, but I think it's worth. I think it just gives the synth a bit more bite, really. As opposed to this. One more thing I'm gonna do. I believe in the reference track, there's some pitch automation involved in this melody. I'm gonna pitch it down a bit before the second stab, and then I'm gonna increase the pitch by an octave on the third. It sounds very similar to the intro, but not exactly the same. And I think I'm gonna add a bass line to the second part of the melody. So I'm gonna do that now. I'm gonna need like a pulse synth or something. I think that'll be fine for the intro, so now I'm gonna want some sort of initial melody for the drop. I think I'm gonna lay down some drums afterwards. I think you could use anything for this, like Serum, Diva would probably work fine as well. I'm just gonna use Reaper because it's the one that I saw being used the most often, so... Sounds pretty simple, so I'm gonna clone this pattern. I'm gonna make a separate version of it, and I'm gonna change the melody slightly and add a couple more synths. the original synth with this and then maybe a guitar or something and then I'll start with drums. My CPU is dying. Um, okay, I'm gonna lay these chords with something else. I don't use this preset too often, but I think it's pretty good for like rage melodies and stuff like that. The electric vintage bang and using these. So I'm using the Swedish rock preset and I'm just gonna copy and paste the chords in. I think that sounds pretty good. So this is what this whole pattern sounds like. All right, sounds pretty good, minus the CPU dying in the background, but I think in this section of the track specifically, there's like some sort of weird art playing. So I'm gonna go into Diva real quick and pick my favorite plucked sound.
And I'm gonna record that into Edison real quick. I'm gonna stretch this out to two bars. I'm gonna double time it. And then reverse it. Sounds pretty close. I wanna see just how close I can get it though. So I'm gonna add some panning automation as well. And I think I'm gonna use wave mode for this. So it's just going all over the place every point. Now I'm gonna do the baseline before the kick, I reckon. Alright, and with that, I think the drums are basically done. Really simple, there's like a two-step hi-hat, simple clap, simple snare pattern, so not too much going on. I think what's really holding this beat back is the mix, so I'm gonna take some time to mix down all the elements, and then I can break down roughly what I've done, and we can listen to the final beat. 12 seconds later. Alright, so I've mixed down most of the elements and given it a rough arrangement, but it's definitely not done. So this is what the hook sounds like now. the main synth i've added identical effects to the first one and i haven't used this plugin since i was about like 15 but i thought i might as well throw some camel crusher on the kick it's like the most stereotypical trap beat effect i could possibly use jesus christ but apart from that in like the arp section i've just mixed and leveled everything so that the different frequencies don't clash with each other and I added some automation to the bass line so it doesn't clash with the 808 so this is what it sounds like And the three chord elements, the guitar and the two synths, I just leveled and panned them to opposite sides. And I think it sounds okay. I don't know, it's kind of hard to tell. I then basically cloned that pattern and then made the melody ascending instead of descending. And now that I've got all the elements for the beat grouped together, I think it's about time that I start my final arrangement, so. It's been like 30 minutes, but I think I've got a final arrangement for this beat. As I said, I've added a couple of orchestral elements and a couple of elements from Synth Palace and stuff like that, just to make the structure a bit more interesting, because otherwise there's not really much going on. And as you can see, I have added an acapella just to see what it would sound like. <laughs> pretty good. I think I've completely failed at making it sound different to the reference track. It sounds like way, way too similar. Like I could not lease that out to an artist basically. And I think when you throw the acapella on top, you notice just how similar the beat sounds. It's like when you use the same presets and the same drum sounds, you make a similar beat. Like, not sure how I didn't see that coming, but it's okay. I think I could definitely tweak the orchestral elements and embellishments a bit more. But I think other than that, I'm very happy with how it turned out. And now this is done. I promise I will not make another Utopia video.
Anyway, and of course, thank you for watching. Hopefully, if you were looking for some inspiration, this video helped you in some way. And of course, if you enjoyed, feel free to like and subscribe. So let's just listen to the final beat and see what I could do better for next time.